People often ask, why does NASA get so much government money? I mean, couldn't that money be better used for endeavors here on Earth? Isn't sending all that money to space kind of a waste? What many people don't realize is just how much NASA has helped with many different things right here on Earth. In the video today, we're gonna to be looking at the top 10 ways that NASA has specifically helped to revolutionize healthcare on Earth, and hopefully shine a light on why the government spends so much money on NASA. Number 10, laser angioplasties. An angioplasty is when a blood vessel, in particular a coronary artery, is unblocked. It can be a very delicate and risky operation, but developments at NASA have helped to make the procedure considerably less invasive and safer. Previous methods, such as coronary bypass, required open-heart surgery to implant a healthy blood vessel from another part of the body to direct the blood flow around the blockage. The laser angioplasty, on the other hand, threads a small cable into the artery and emits a cool laser that breaks down the plaque. This method is safer, with an 85% success rate, less painful, less risky, and does not require surgery. The laser itself uses ultraviolet light and is 65 degrees Celsius (149 Fahrenheit), which is enough to unblock the artery without damaging the human tissue. The laser was originally developed to study the ozone layer. Number 9. Pacemakers People who survive a case of sudden cardiac arrest have a 55% chance of suffering a heart attack in the following two years. Thanks to NASA's advancements in technology, that risk can be lowered to less than 3% with the implantation of a pacemaker. Pacemakers are designed to release electrical impulses that counteract arrhythmia, which is irregular beating of the heart. NASA worked alongside researchers in Baltimore to develop an implant that could collect information on patients' heartbeat, detect arrhythmia early, counteract it, and be reprogrammed remotely, eliminating the need for surgery every time it needed to be changed. A lot of different NASA technology went into the development of the pacemaker, such as the technology used for remote communication with satellites. Number 8. Blood Analyzers Many technological advancements that NASA made in healthcare are technologies that were developed for other reasons and then applied to healthcare. But they also set out to specifically advance certain tests and treatments. You never know what will happen to the astronauts when they're in space, no matter how healthy they are, so it's best to be prepared. That's why the portable clinical blood analyzer was developed. With just 65 microliters, about three drops of blood, it gives readings on acidity, alkalinity, carbon dioxide, bicarbonate, sodium, potassium, chloride, and glucose levels in just two minutes. Its small size, versatility, and speed are of huge importance and immeasurably helpful towards the health of astronauts, but it could also be extremely useful in other areas, like long commercial flights, submarines, battlefields, and even hospitals. It is already capable of replacing methods that require multiple large machines and vials of blood, as well as giving instant results. It's hoped that they can be developed to deliver information on a wide range of results, and also advanced to require only a single drop of blood, because three drops is too cumbersome, apparently. Number 7. The Scanadu Scout Often referred to as a real-life Star Trek tricorder, the Scanadu Scout is a handheld device small enough to be completely sealed in your closed hand. Developed by the NASA Ames Research Center, it allows people to measure some of their own vital signs at home. By simply holding it against your temple for 10 seconds, the Scanadu Scout will measure your temperature, hemoglobin levels, and heart rate with 99% accuracy. It then sends the data to an app on your smartphone. This allows you to keep track of your vitals and either build up a pattern over time or just warn you that something is wrong. Unveiled in 2014, it could be of great use in hospitals, where it could give more results faster and more accurately than current methods. However, it is primarily marketed for people to keep in the home, where it could prove extremely helpful for those with pre-existing medical conditions, letting them know when they need or need not worry. Number 6. Human Tissue Stimulators Developed by the same people who worked on the pacemaker and using similar technology, the human tissue stimulator is a device that is implanted in either the brain or nerve centers in the body. Like the pacemaker, the device uses electrical stimulation to stabilize signals given off by the brain or in the nervous system. This allows it to reduce or stop chronic pain, as well as involuntary muscle spasms. The device is small and uses a nickel cadmium battery that can be recharged through the skin. Like a pacemaker, it also collects and relays information and can be reprogrammed remotely. Similar devices have been used to treat Parkinson's disease. Number 5. Breast Cancer Research Breast cancer probably gets more attention than any other type of cancer these days, and for good reasons. It is the most common cancer among, but not exclusive to, women. A lot is still unknown about it, and in 70% of breast cancer cases, doctors can't tell what the cause is. This makes both prevention and treatment harder, meaning that the only way to help people at the moment is for them to go in for random checkups and hope to catch it early. Meanwhile, NASA is helping to fight breast cancer via a few different avenues. Firstly, they're studying the radiation that astronauts are exposed to in space, hoping it can help in identifying causes and possible treatments. 
They're also studying incubated cancerous tissue to better understand how it develops compared to non-cancerous tissues. Further, imaging technology developed to study the depths of lakes can be used to give more accurate mammograms and could reduce the number of women over 50 dying by 30%. A new, smaller probe is also in development that could give instant results. Number 4. Advanced New Wheelchair Technologies NASA has put in so much work to advancing the wheelchair, it's almost a shock they didn't invent the wheel itself. Firstly, they built stronger, lighter, and more compact wheelchairs. While that's not exactly incredible, it's not easy to do and makes a huge difference to wheelchair users, the weight in particular. Furthermore, they developed an amazing voice-activated wheelchair. It responds to basic commands like forward, backward, etc., but also comes equipped with a mechanic alarm that can perform a multitude of tasks such as picking up items and turning doorknobs. Finally, they recently came up with a new design that takes a lot of the strain off the wheelchair user. This new design lets the user move forward by pulling the wheels backwards, shifting the weight of the chair to stronger muscles. Just like how rowers sit backwards in their boats, the new chair requires a lot less energy and effort and is completely revolutionary. Number 3. Biocapsules Now this one is something lifted straight out of sci-fi. The biocapsule was developed to treat a number of problems astronauts may encounter when in space, such as exposure to high levels of radiation. Like the Scandu Scout, it was developed by NASA's Ames Research Center, but is inserted under the astronaut's skin. When something is detected, its carbon nanotubes will release medicine-filled cells to counteract anything that could cause an astronaut to become ill. Because of their design, they can't be broken down naturally, and so are incredibly long-lasting. While this is a great innovation for the health of astronauts, its implications are far greater down here on the ground. Although it hasn't been applied yet, a patent has been taken out that will allow these biocapsules to treat diabetes. They would monitor the blood sugar levels of the diabetic and stabilize it, eliminating the need for insulin shots or constant blood sugar level monitoring. Number 2. Prosthetic Limbs Until recently, artificial limbs were pretty basic. Wooden legs and heavy claws for hands were the best thing on offer to someone who had lost a limb. But now we're seeing more and more advancements that can really make a difference. Legs capable of running and hands capable of functioning just like a human hand are becoming a reality. NASA has helped drive many of these advancements forward, making limbs that are stronger, lighter, and smarter. The material for these limbs was developed by NASA for the Space Shuttle, but now provides higher quality prosthetics to many at a fraction of the cost. Never content with what they've already accomplished, NASA has collaborated with a few different institutions to help build up an exoskeleton much more advanced than anything we've seen before. Although a bit chunky, the exoskeleton is much smaller and stronger than those that came before. Intended for use by astronauts on other planets, it could soon be a viable option for people who are paralyzed or need help moving. Number 1. Cochlear Implants Cochlear implants help to restore hearing to people who are either hard of hearing or losing the ability to hear. They work by stimulating the auditory nerve, and have helped countless people since their development in the 1960s. Unlike many of the other entries, this was not the result of technology developed for another use and applied to those with hearing problems. This was a direct, intentional result of NASA's efforts to fight hearing loss. Adam Kissier was an engineer at NASA, and when he began to lose his hearing, they allowed him to use their resources to study a way to help those like him. Pretty soon, he developed the implantable electronic hearing aid, which has become the base design for all cochlear implants today. So I really hope you enjoyed that video, and I'd love to know what you think of it, so please leave a comment below. I'm also going to link over to another video that you might enjoy, so just click on that thumbnail on the screen now. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we put out a new video seven days a week, and you can also visit us online. Just go to top10s.net. Thanks for watching.